Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so with Christmas right around the corner, I need to get making something for my mom. And honestly, whenever I wanna do something, I have to turn it into a video, like art-wise. If I ever wanna make something, I have to turn it into a video to like kind of make time for it. So what we're gonna do today is make my mom's Christmas present. So mom, if you clicked on this for whatever reason, you think that you can watch this, I know I put it in the title, making my mom's Christmas present. So if you actually clicked on this, uh, click off right now or you're not gonna get your Christmas present, okay? So what I'm thinking of making her is one of those beach pieces, like the big wooden pieces. I'm not gonna do it on wood, but I am gonna make her a beach piece. I know when I made that video, she really loved it, so I'm gonna make one for her. Also, somebody recently commented that they miss uh, when I sing, continue watching. Um, so if you guys are interested in making my mom's Christmas present with me, then continue watching. So like I said, we're not gonna be doing it on wood this time. I actually don't have any wood pieces that were like that. So what I do have is one of these acrylic shapes. These are from Counterculture DIY. I will try to link them down in the description along with everything else I'm gonna be using in this video. I try to link everything down in the description, but yeah, so this is an acrylic shape. It's got like sort of like a paper covering on both sides that you can peel off. So we're gonna peel off one side, work on it, and then leave the paper that's on the other side there so that way when all the drips go to the other side, we'll be able to peel it off really easy. So I don't have to tape anything. These things are awesome. I love working with them. So we're gonna make her beach piece on one of these. And I'm actually pretty excited because generally, I like to work big. I, I'm not very good at making really small pieces or working really, really small. So I'm excited to be working with such a big piece of acrylic and I'm hoping to get some really beautiful waves on here. So other than the acrylic shape, I am gonna be using some acrylic paint to kind of get the base colors on here. And then I'm also gonna be using some dispersion colors and that'll be to mix into the resin and kind of color it. And then for the waves, I do use the white armor art from Counterculture DIY. I'm gonna show you everything once we get into the project. I'll be able to show you everything close up. And then for the resin, we're gonna be using casting resin because I have made these before with a sort of like faster curing, harder curing resin. And it does seem to kind of like warp the acrylic just a little bit, you know, because the resin gets too hot. So I'm gonna work with a resin that I'm really comfortable with and I know won't like melt this acrylic or anything. So we are gonna be using casting resin. The resin I use is the Counterculture DIY casting resin. Again, I'm gonna have everything linked down in the description if you ever wanna check it out. So yeah, I'm super excited. I'm excited to see how this comes out. So we're gonna go over to my desk now and get started. I'm gonna be mixing up a bunch of different cups of resin, a bunch of different colors to kind of get this going. We are actually, the first thing we're gonna do is paint this acrylic with some kind of beachy colors first, and then we'll start mixing the resin. So we're gonna get started.
Okay, so we just finished for today and I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this piece all in one pour, but seeing it where it is now, I definitely wanna do a couple more waves. So I think what I'm gonna do is let this cure overnight and then we're gonna come back tomorrow and I think I'm gonna try to fit two more waves in there. There are a couple of spots where I feel like there's just a lot of blue and nothing else going on. So I think that's gonna be the perfect spot for a couple of more waves. I also did put some like little quartz stones. And then I did find, I don't think I recorded this part because I literally just dug them out of my desk. I thought I was out of seashells, but I did find a few. So I stuck those on as well. So I'm really excited. I will see you guys in 24 hours when we do the next two waves. Okay, you guys, so we peeled the backing off and this is how it's looking. I, I love it. I, I love it. I feel like, am I getting better at beach waves? Because I feel like I am. Also like this kind of wave that I felt like in the moment it got messed up. But now looking at the finished piece, it almost looks like, you know, when a wave kind of like pulls back from the sand. I feel like that's what this looks like down here. And then I don't, I mean, can we even, can we even? all these like cells and the bubblies here. Amazing, I love this piece so much. I love that this wave up front is kind of like 3D. The sand looks amazing, the seashells look amazing, the quartz looks so cool. I, I, I love it. I love this piece so much. Let me know what you guys think of it. I cannot wait to give this to my mom. So actually, since I did this on acrylic and since it is so thin, I'm not able to drill into it to like put a little hanger on the back so she can hang it. So what I am gonna do, I was Googling last night those like command hooks that are Velcro and they hold up to like 16 pounds. 
This is absolutely not 16 pounds. So I think I'm gonna get her a pack of those and then that way she can put those like command strip Velcro pieces on the back and not have to drill into it at all. And then she can put the matching Velcro pieces on the wall and she'll be able to hang it wherever she wants. Also, I didn't, I'm not sure if she's gonna wanna hang it like this, like sideways the way that I kind of did it, or if she's gonna wanna hang it like this. So I'm gonna kind of leave that up to her. I'm gonna buy her a pack of those like Velcro command strip things and then kind of give it to her like this. So here's some close-up shots of my beach piece for my mom. So yeah, that was our final piece. I wanna know your thoughts down in the comments. Am I getting better at beach waves? Because I really feel like this is the best I've done. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and follow me on Instagram. It is at Artsy Madwoman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> We meet again. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> not bad, huh? Uh, 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 not bad. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Everything is all good. Everything is all good. Why do I look like a big potato? The sweater I had just discovered makes me look like a potato. It's fine. The sweater is comfy and that makes up for the potato shape. Okay, so we just finished for today and I, for today. <laughs> Battle scars, stop. Guys, I have to admit something to you. The battle scars thing, battle scars. Um, I can't stop saying it, battle scars. Stop. It's so funny. I'm so annoying. Okay, bye. <laughs> I have cheese breath. <laughs> All right, I bet so many people just heard that. I need to pack up my stuff and leave. I literally like, I, I turn around and there's a hundred things on this table, turn around again, a hundred things on this table and I'm pouring resin all over the place and there's just glitter and resin everywhere. <laughs>